yes sir yes sir okay now i am going to demonstrate how to use the abacus software so here is the software and i will upload the software a setup file for the uh, for, uh, for you all so that you can simulate the uh, what i am going to upload that one so i am opening this software yes, okay this is the platform for the abacus software uh, this software is mainly used for the simulation that is finite element modeling analysis that is any mechanical processes any mechanical property we will assign to the uh, object so that it will simulate okay so for that uh, that is create model database i am go going to for the standard and explicit model no need to go the electromagnetic model because we are not using the electrical properties so i am going for the standard and explicit model okay now <clears throat> uh before going before started uh, i want to so that it is a uh, quite uh, complex software but if you follow the steps for uh, why we are going for this software and what are the steps we are go, using this here so that it will be quite simple simple so for that uh, basically i am going to tell the what i am going to design that is i am going to design a box type ki box in that box uh, i am going to inflate that box so for that uh, i am showing that another one you can see here okay this one like this uh, i am going to design this one that the bottom part and that upper part we have to design this one and we have to simulate this one okay now <clears throat> here i have to take the two part that base part and the uh, upper part and i in the for the assignment i will uh, give the model and you have to assemble and what i am procedure for following for the simulation you have to strictly follow okay so for that in model one i am going to follow the model so part we have to import okay i am going to import the part so uh, here it is Uh, it will be in step file and i will upload in that uh, uh, openable format that is step file so i am going to open the base here it is the part name and uh, the all the things is default no need to change anything okay so here is the part for rotation you have to use this click so that it will rotate and you have to visualize in any side okay so another we have to part the uh next that the upper part okay so i'm going to import that one that this one okay so this uh, also is same no need to change this one okay so this is the two files and what we have already uh, imported this will be shown here okay base and cap okay so before uh, uh, we have going for the this type of module okay here you can see that part property assembly step interaction load mesh optimization job this with the, here is all the uh, modules but we have no need to go to the go through the all the model those who those the models are needed for us i will tell you about that so <clears throat> then uh, uh, we have to design like that one so we have to assemble that one okay for that assembling i am going for here you can see in the left side that the also model one module steps what are the here also that property assembly everything here also in the left side okay so for that i am going for the assembly we have to assemble to make the box okay if you have any doubt in the in this between then you can ask me okay uh, i am going to for the instances okay create or double click if you uh, anything if you want to access then you have to click double click or uh, create okay so i am going for the selecting this one so here it is auto offset we have to click auto offset so that it will we will uh, design uh, as whatever we want okay then i am going to okay so here it is the two things okay uh, okay we have to assemble this one okay 
for this please follow the what we are uh, uh, look at the uh, what i am doing for that uh, this that upper part is going to the upper of that box so that i am going to uh, click the assemble option here it is the what kind of option here it is showing that create constant parallel face here constant face to face and here is the so many options okay we are going to create face to face okay so that i am going to select this one this one and also that one okay this part is going to the uppermost okay so that i am selecting this one okay now i am going to change the direction because the, these two directions are in opposite okay so i am going to change the direction okay so i am going to flip okay then okay yes here it is coming to the uppermost layer okay now i am going to put this the upper one to the top of this box okay so that i am uh, you have to also use any kind of technique i am uh, using this one okay uh, so okay now i am going to select a planner so in the bottom also it is uh, so in there select a planner face or data plane of the movable instance okay this one and this one okay it is in the same direction so no need to flip just click okay and enter okay now our box is created but the thing is we have to uh, position the any point so that it will be in plane with one of the surfaces so i am going to just uh, just one more step in this step i am to going to consider any point okay consider point so i am going to consider this and this point okay just this one and this one okay <coughs> now see the in, the in this what i am showing this part is completely coinciding okay then our model is created so before it is only created we have designed but we have to merge that this upper and lower part will be merged okay so here is the merge option to fill okay then we have to you have to naming as merge whatever you want you can merge okay then intersection boundary should be written so continue okay then here it is showing that select the instant instances to merge so that we have to click the instances like this select okay then <coughs> okay now the model is completely designed okay here also you can see in the part it is the base part here it is the cap new part and the merge part okay in that uh, assembly section you can see that the base part and cap new both are cancelled and we have to only focus on the merged part okay then another this one we have to go for the face on face that the coincide how i am going assembling okay you have to focus on this okay then we have to assign the material portion because or in that material we have to inflate or deflate jo bhi karna hai so we have to inflate or deflate okay so we have to go for the uh, material section okay okay here more okay the material everything you want to add or anything you have to double click or right click create okay here the <coughs> edit material name i can say Uh, suppose one of the material is for the here we are going for the uh, elastic properties so for that uh, we are going the silicon material that silicon material is kind of biocompatible so that i am using for rubber purposes for rubber type those who are we want to inflate so we are using for the hyper elastic material okay for hyper elastic material i am going to assign one material so i am double clicking this one okay that uh, and substance is this one you can uh, search on so google you will get the details uh, any properties of the uh, material okay okay 
Okay, no need to uh, add any description or mechanical material behavior. Here it is the properties, the density, regularization, used material. Okay, here is mechanical, electricity, plasticity. All are the mechanical properties in near material. You will uh, assign according to that uh, property what we are needing. Okay, then here is the thermal property, thermal conductivity, specific heat, latent heat. Okay, uh, those who are in mechanical background or any. Um, electrical instrumentation they will do more know about this one also biotechnology so for the biotechnology student i am going to explain each and everything at my best so please cooperate okay then i am going to uh, density for that density the density value is uh, Okay, the density value is this one. Okay, then we have to go for the uh, material. Okay, here I am going for the hyper elastic material because instead of going for elastic metal, I am going for hyper elastic metal because of the rubber property. We want to inflate more. Okay, in the some pressure, we have to give the specific pressure so that it will inflate. So I am going for the hyper elastic metal. Okay, that hyper elastic metal is isotropic. Okay, so from uh, uh, what are the research paper I have studied, I am going for that one one kind of pressure that is material that your properties, and it is the coefficient coefficient type input source is coefficient. It is not a big deal. It is the what are the material properties? What is the, I am assigning? What are the things I am assigning to material? It is completely available in the internet. Okay, just it is fixed. It is it is fixed for a material. Okay, so the coefficients are zero point one one. In the zero point zero two. Okay. Okay. What then? Uh, here I am showing that that I have created this material, so it is coming under the this material section. Okay. So uh, this material is going to inflate, so this material will be assigned to the topmost. Okay. And we have to an uh, add another material uh, for that base part. That the base part should not be inflated. Okay. So for that, I am assigning another material that is plastic material. Okay. So whatever in the uh, material section, I am going to assign this one that is double click. Okay. And uh, that in double click, and I am going to that actually plastic. We can, we can naming is just in a name, so you can uh, change your name according to your uh, suitability. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to for the same uh, thing. We have to do for that uh, another metal. We, we and then <coughs> here is the density. The density is uh, the uh, for the is quite uh, more for because it will not be inflated. So the density is uh, three point two three point five. Okay. This is the density. Then we have to go for the material, so it is not the hyper elastic. We have to go for the only the elastic material. Okay, uh, that elastic material for the elastic material, we have the two properties Young's modulus and the Poisson's ratio. Anyone know who, who is what is Young's modulus? Hello, ratio of stress by strain in okay. proportionality. Yes, so it is the Young's modulus is stress by strain. Stress is the pressure, the force by area, and the strain is change in length by original length. Okay, so it is a property. So we have to put only the values. Okay, Young's modulus, the Young's modulus. So I have taken the wrong that uh, density is one one nine zero. Okay, and the uh, elastic. Hmm. Here the Young's modulus that is 3.2. Okay. In the Poisson's ratio, is, in the Poisson's ratio is the change in the transverse strain by longitudinal strain. Okay. Uh, okay. Another thing I am going to tell that that uh, for the unit you have to follow the any unit that is but you have to consistent throughout the. Day. Design throughout the job, you have to consistent. I am going to show the uh, uh, design properties, uh, the unit. You can see here. 
that abacus you need to if you want so here it is